going on you guys? Gaper right here, PureSwingTV.com, PGATourDriven.com. Someone messaged me, asked me if I had uh, any tips on how to stop slicing the ball. So I'll just give you a few little mental things you can try and maybe some drills you can do to help stop slicing the ball. So, if you don't know, when you slice the ball, it means the ball starts left of your target and curves back to the right, okay? So if you look at a ball here, if you could just come right around here, it means my club, my, my path is coming across the line with an open club face. That's being exaggerated, of course. So what we have to do is, instead of coming over the top path, we need to come from an inside path and we need to have the face more square to close. And believe it or not, if you have a good enough path, you can actually draw the ball with an open club face. So here's a few drills you can do. One thing you can do to help you visually, if you're a visual learner, is you can put a tee down right here, pretty low into the ground, and right here. So what this helps you do is, is you have a tee right here in front of the ball, and then a tee right after the ball. That's kind of the path you want to go on, because you used to going this way, and now we want to go this way. We want to go inside out. Also, if you have stripes on your range balls, that can help you too. You want the stripes going right to your target, not left. Bad? Good. So I'll line these up just with the tees. And now I can just focus on swinging nice and easy, going from this tee to the ball to that tee. And that'll help me get a nice release. So this is one way. Okay. Hit that pretty good right there. Um, another thing you can do uh, that might help is grip pressure. If you're holding onto the club tight or tighter than you should, it's going to be harder to release the club. So make sure your just hands are just barely on there and with that light grip pressure, it'll be easier for the club to release. Uh, one more thing. I think this will be a great tip for anybody. I see that most people that slice the ball start their, bat, their downswing with their hips rotary. And what I mean is they start this way on their downswing instead of laterally. Let me show you what that does. If I set up to my ball and I go up to the top of my swing and I just turn my hips, look where the club goes. Straight over the top. Now if I start my downswing with my legs moving laterally, look where the club goes. I come up and I go laterally first. Now that drops into the slot. And that's where you're going to get that draw swing. That's where you're going to get your distance from. People who start by just by turning their body, that's that over the top move. You want to go laterally and let that club drop on the inside. So try to get that inside out swing path with the tees or the lines of the ball, light grip pressure, and make sure you're moving more laterally instead of that rotary over the top move. So here we go. That's a heavy draw right there. So give that a shot. Let me know if you're still having problems and I'll upload some more tips. So this is Gabriel Ryder. Facebook me. I upload more tips, inspirational videos on my Facebook. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Oh jeez, shit. I didn't work. Keep the glasses on, they look good with the shirt.